But right now, our top story at 10 and new details in the murder of a 17 year old girl. Phoenix police just arresting two teens and now searching for a third. That girl found shot to death this month inside a car in an alleyway. Our Ashley Perez is live for us near 35th Avenue and Southern tonight. And Ashley, you spoke with that teen's father tonight. Yes, and he says ever since his daughter was murdered here in his car, he's had questions as to who would do this. Now he is finally getting those answers as the people who allegedly committed the crime are now being identified. My baby girl, you know. Although Itzel Espinosa was 17, her father, Eduardo, always saw her as his baby girl, saying she lived for the spotlight, a princess in every way, never imagining the last talk they had would be their last. Itzel telling him, uh, I just need some emotional support. I said, what kind of emotional support? Like your friends are here, the people that kids for you is here. Itzel never coming home that night. Her father calling police after not being able to get a hold of her. I said, I was thinking maybe something else, like, you know, like DUI or something, you know, but like this, no. Later learning of the tragedy that his girl had been shot and killed inside her car in an alley near Southern and 35th Avenue. Three weeks later, some answers. Phoenix police arresting 19 year old Jesus Padilla for facilitation of murder. The crazy thing about that individual, I like my daughter, she, she posted him on social media a week before this saying that's my brother. Like he's serious, like she said that's my brother. Eduardo sat in that someone she was close to would want to cause her harm. A second suspect, who is a minor, booked into a detention center. And the one who allegedly pulled the trigger, Lindsay Aguilar, is still on the run. Even though they don't have her in custody yet, but they will, I mean, eventually, because you can you cannot go and hide forever. Itzel's father saying he will never fully find peace, especially not knowing what happened that night. Like the whole justice process it will come eventually you know and they'll, they'll pay for it eventually that's something we have to worry about later at the beginning I was just worried about like she's she's not here you know she's, she's gone but he will always have her close to his heart honoring her every way he can it said 92703 her birthday and past 7321 Phoenix police asking for the community's help tonight in finding Aguilar, who is the third suspect in this shooting. If you have any information, you are asked to call them or silent witness at 480 Witness. I'm Ashley Paredes, ABC 15, Arizona.